Imagine that you're deploying in the aftermath of an emergency and the Boondock Echo is part of your critical communications plan. But you need to know how long it lasts on battery. Well, to find out, we're going to determine its power consumption. The FNB58 USB multimeter should make this an easy task, but the app that comes with it is a hot mess. It's clunky, it's confusing, and it really doesn't work. So instead of fighting the app, I'm gonna hack the Bluetooth connection and solve the problem myself. The clock is ticking. The customer's waiting on the data right now. One way to reverse engineer a device is to capture the Bluetooth data as it passes through the host controller interface. Here's how I did it. I started with the snooper built into every Android phone. I enabled Bluetooth HCI snoop log, and then I power cycled Bluetooth to enable it. I connected to the USB tester, which uses Bluetooth low energy for communication. I also use screen recording to capture actual values inside the app. Later, these will let me find actual values inside the BLE data stream. With the data captured, the next step is to analyze the data to determine how voltage and current are encoded. I created a list of all possible double value numbers in both Big Indian and Little Indian format. Once I know a few four digit hex byte arrays to look for, I should be able to deduce which bytes are which rather quickly. Now comes the fun part, decoding the data. I noticed that the data packets were consistent in length and structure. Typically, sensor data is sent in a predefined format that makes decoding simple. By comparing the hex data with the readings displayed on the device's screen, I could map out which bytes correspond to voltage and current. I found that certain bytes represented the voltage and current when converted from hexadecimal to decimal and then scaled appropriately. And those bytes belong to data type 7. For example, the hex value 8813, when converted to decimal, becomes 5000. Now, if you apply appropriate scaling, divide by 1,000, you get 5.000 volts. That's perfect. That's exactly the range of the USB VBUS. There are several data types in each frame. The differential pair voltage, the impedance of the line, all things that we just don't care about right now. The only thing we need is data type 7, where the first byte gives you voltage and the second byte gives you current. To automate this process, I wrote a Python script that connects to the device, reads the voltage and current in real time. I used the Bleak library in Python, which allows for BLE communication. The script scans for the device's MAC address and establishes a connection. I programmed the script to subscribe to the relevant characteristics that contain the voltage and current data. In the script, I include logic that converts the raw data into human readable values. And when I run the script, it prints out voltage and current values continuously. How awesome is that? Let's see it in action. As you can see, the script is reading voltage and current in real time, matching exactly what the device shows. Now I'm gonna let the data collect for about an hour, do some quick mean analysis, and we can very accurately establish the battery lifetime. And there you have it, a step-by-step -step guide to hacking Bluetooth and extracting meaningful data. And my customer's happy. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like, subscribe, and share this with someone that you know. I've included a link in the description to the GitHub files and everything that I used in this tutorial video. I hope you enjoyed it, but it's just a start. Feel free to fork it and finish up the task. Boondock Technologies is more than just Boondock Echo. Please leave a comment if you have any questions or if there's a topic that you'd like us to cover next. We'll see you next time.